Hey guys, it's Carolyn. Um, it is Friday, so I'm going to attempt to do a Friday Reads um, video again. This is like my fifth attempt, and I think I've only uploaded two of those. But anyway, I've been having uploading problems, so I don't know if it's like a video length problem or if it's just there's something wrong with my uploader. So I'm going to attempt to make this video and um, make it under... 10 minutes, obviously, and then see if that's the problem. Um, like, if this uploads, then I'm going to know that it's uh, just a problem with the length of the other video that I tried to upload. Um, and yeah, I'm doing a Friday Reads, and I haven't uploaded my monthly wrap-up slash TBR. I know, I'm really sorry. Um, but that is because, again, I'm having trouble figuring out what's wrong with the uploader. Um, so that will probably come after this which I'm sorry, and actually I think only one of these books is actually in the TBR for this month, because um, I have a couple books to show you guys um, that I don't really know what I want to read this weekend. But anyway, um, if you guys don't know what Friday Reads is, um, which I, I guess you should by now if you've been watching my channel for so long, but if you don't, um, it started on Twitter and it was like hashtag Friday Reads and then you say you would just say what you were reading that weekend. And, um, Bunny Cates, who is another YouTuber, um, slash booktuber, um, she's actually, I think, mostly booktube, um, came up with the idea to bring it over to YouTube, and so she does videos, um, for Friday Reads, um, and then she, uh, tells other people to do, uh, hashtag Friday Reads as well. So, yeah, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what my options are to read this weekend, and I really don't know... So, yeah. Um, I am reading I Captured the Castle right now. I started this yesterday, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So, this is probably the one that I want to finish this weekend. I'm not very far. I'm, like, uh, 76 pages out of 343, I think. Um, but also, I'm going to be out of town, so I don't know how much reading I will get done this weekend, but I do want to read this one. Um, but then also I have several other options and I just really don't know what else to read. Um, I started the 10th, uh, series of unfortunate events, which is the slippery slope. Um, I started that the other day. I'm like 68 out of 330 something pages into it. Cause I only read for like two hours. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of a slow reader, you guys. Um, normal size pages, I only I can only read like 20 pages an hour. Um, these size, these tiny ones, I can read. If I'm concentrating, I can read 50 of these in an hour of this size. And if I'm not concentrating, like 30 or 40. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm not very far into this one. Um, but yeah, I am liking this a lot better than Carnivore's Carnival, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, so I have the option of finishing this, but also I'm really in like a kind of classic-y mood, which is why I am reading I Capture the Castle right now, and also, oh, also the reason why I'm reading I Capture the Castle now instead of, like, this originally wasn't even on my list to read this year, but there are some other Dodie Smith books that I really, really want to get because they look so good. Um, yeah, my book buying ban isn't going too well, but anyway, I really want to get those, but I decided that I should read this first, and then that'll give me an idea of how much I like her writing, and so far I'm really loving it, so I'm most likely going to go ahead and get those when I finish this, but by the end, I will know, because I've seen this movie, and the ending, I hated the ending so much, um, and I'm hoping it's going to be better because her, um, Cassandra's narration in the book is obviously better than it is in the film because you just get to know her so much better in the book. Um, and it's not her that I have a problem with. I actually really like her as a character, but it's just the events that happened in the end. I'm not going to tell you, but I just, I wasn't happy with them in the film. So maybe I'll be happier with them in the book, even though I know that they're technically the same. Um, but yeah, so we'll see about that. And also... Brideshead Revisited. I got this from my library. Um, I've wanted to see this movie for a while, but I also really want to read the book. And um, it's by Evelyn Waugh. And this and Vile Bodies are the two 
of his books that I've really, really wanted to read because Words of a Reader really enjoys them. And um, I, most of the time, um, I agree with her on her books. Um, so, or the books that I've read that she also enjoys, um, I've agreed with. So, um, I want to read this. Uh, because they didn't have vile bodies at my library, unfortunately. Um, so I want to read this and then see if I want to go ahead and get vile bodies. Um, so that's another option for the weekend, because I'm really in a classic kind of mood. But then also, there's the problem of this uh, red wall. I've had this. It's on my TBR. It's a library book. So, But also, I can renew it. That's the problem with being able to renew it. I can renew this up to five times, which gives me 15 extra weeks um, to read the whole series. And so that's the problem, is that I'm like, oh, I've got plenty of time. Um, but I feel like I should go ahead and read this so that I can go ahead and get into the series. But also, since these other three are standalones, I could go ahead and read those and then just read the whole Redwall series after that. So I really don't know. Um... But yeah, so those are my four options for the weekend, and I'll probably take all of them with me and just pick once I get to my destination here. So, we'll see. But anyway, um, comment down below. I'm sorry this video is kind of long for Friday Reads, A. And B, um, comment down below and tell me what you guys are reading this weekend. Um, and this video is probably getting ready to cut me off. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks. Bye.